how do you or do you track a change in movies, stories? What are, are good ones, bad ones? And do you see it? I mean, do you see this change? And do you see it going? Do you see a change in our representations of good and evil? And do you see that something that can change or turn around if you think it's going in the wrong direction? Yes, I think it has been going in a wrong direction. I think, um, again, I, I just think that I don't think I know. It's like when you look through the TV shows that have been popular and are popular, even the ones right now, Tulsa King, Yellowstone, Secession, all these big shows. I, I didn't watch uh, Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones. These aren't good people, really. Like, they're, they're maybe not as bad as the other people, but they're, they're not good. So that's definitely a thing. And yes, like, I really loved, again, I think it's one of the reasons I love Stranger Things is the heart of it kind of reminds me of Star Wars in the sense of it's, it's good old, good versus evil situation. The lines are, are drawn. And I, I bring that up because they even had uh, at the very end of this last season on a church, they had written really big the scripture out of Romans. Uh, do, like basic, gosh, I'm, I'm on the spot. So of course I blank on my mind. Uh, basically do not do do not do evil for do not get do not do evil for evil i'm totally botching the scripture why is my brain how about you you ask me another question uh, let me hold on well, no i don't want to i'm like now i need another scripture okay. do not repay evil for evil uh, there my brain uh well, do not do not repay evil for evil and it just it caught my eye because stranger things of course is set in the 70s i mean the 80s and I, I'd recently gone back and watched a lot of 80s movies and it saddened me because even in the 80s, there was a lot more comfortability to mention like God was kind of mentioned in movies where today, if you've noticed, they don't say they're they're atheistic, but it, it is as if God does not exist. God has no part in anyone's life. Um, and it so it was it was really refreshing in Stranger Things that has good versus evil, even to see that scripture. Do not repay evil for evil. Um, and so definitely, I, I think whether it's even just mentioning God, kind of God being brought up in a non bad way or just the good versus evil, it's just not really there. It's more like you hear people talk about gray and say, even in star Wars, people are like, I want a gray Jedi. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's just like, yeah, well, <laughs> um, again, that, that kind of goes away. Star Wars, whether it's even. Uh, Harrison Ford's character, when you first meet him, Han Solo, he shoots someone and you're like, who is this guy? Why did he just shoot this guy? Is he a bad guy? And then the whole rest of the movie, Harrison Ford's character has to make a choice. And by the end of the movie, he's joined the good guys. And as Leia says, I knew you cared more about like, like, or, like basically like I knew you cared about more than just money. Uh, there was more to you. And, and that's my point, that Star Wars, things like that, they would take people that way. And you just don't really see that anymore. Mm. Well, I, I, no, we, we are running out of time, but let me ask you then, like I said, we just got like we just got into Lou's theory of storytelling last Tuesday. So this, I would love to have you back. Like, yeah, this is definitely. an important perspective on this. And I think so we got to look on this as a continuing dialogue. Because like I said, okay. I feel like yeah, we, this I feel is, like this we just part, got started on this. This is part one of the conversation. <laughs> this would be part one of the conversation. But then let, let, let's just conclude then with, with your perspective on the difference between something like Star Wars and Game of Thrones. So you 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 gave mm -hmm. Game of Thrones as an example of it seemed like a negative. It seemed like you were using Game of Thrones as a negative. Yes, I didn't watch Game of Thrones. I, just personally, uh, if there's just like lots of nudity and, and unnecessary amounts of sex, I'm just, I'm not really game. And then mix that in with a lot of blood and I'm really not game. Uh, so I haven't watched it. I, I know how it ends. Like I, I'm a big enough of a TV person. I followed the story enough to kind of like, to know what happened in that show without watching it. Um, I know the keynotes of what happened in Game of Thrones. Uh, and maybe that's not the best example, but I don't know. Just compare. Have you seen Game of Thrones? Oh, yeah. I'm a Game of Thrones fan. Yes. Okay. Well, compare that. And I know people think it's a really good show. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying anything about whether it's a good, like a, a good, when I say good, I mean, like uh, Breaking Bad was a good show. It was really good. Uh, so I'm not saying if it's good or bad. I hear people say it was a, you know, a great show. Um, I'm just saying 
I mean, I don't know. Maybe they have some characters in there. Like, are there the Luke characters that are very pure, that are very uh, worthy of like emulating in your life? Well, well, maybe. Well, maybe not like Luke. But what I, I would would say is that I enjoy both types of stories. I'm a Star mm -hmm. Wars fan. I'm also a Game of Thrones fan. I understand. I understand why some people really uh, like cer certain types of stories. Like they will be big fans of something like the 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 Star Wars, but not of Game of Thrones. Other, I have other friends who are like they really like Game of Thrones, but they don't like something like Star Wars. Yeah. Or they don't like something like Lord of the Rings because you do have. Okay, let's contrast Lord Lord of the Rings with Game of Thrones. That, yeah, that's a better let, comparison. Let's do that because I understand. Comparison. That there are people who like I have friends who say I can't connect with like Aragorn because mm -hmm. we got this 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 you know, this high this exalted person who is up here on this level whether or not this is exactly true or not but then down here when we're talking about the Game of Thrones we're talking about people who are flawed we're talking about people who are dealing with a whole bunch of different issues that I'm dealing with I guess I'm questioning whether or not having those types of characters is necessarily bad if they are dealing with issues if they're flawed like we are. And are dealing with issues of our world and they're struggling. I, I understand that certain people connect with those type of stories where you give them Superman, you know, Superman and black and white evil. Mm -hmm. They don't. Yes. I and would you say tell a good story in the gray. I would say that's a problem for society if again, I don't have a problem with I mean, there's several I, these shows I've named that I've watched that are excellent shows as far as quality. Um it just we're talking morality here. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, like, it, where was my mind going with that one? Sometimes it gets scattered here. Uh, okay, so Game of, like, with Game of Thrones. So I don't have a problem if, yes, we, we relate to flawedness as humans, but where are they going? Are they trying to, are they trying to improve and no longer be, like, less flawed or uh, not flawed? Like, where, where are they going? That's where I have a problem when we start in the mud and we end in the mud. Mm, like, okay. can we get out of the mud? Can humanity strive for something better? Like, if if you're not a Christian and that you just want to call that like self help, uh, you know, are we striving for to get better? And I, I think that's where I think those Lord of the Rings and things are important because I think Aragorn should be something to look up to. Now, I would say what is beautiful in Lord of the Rings is say even the hobbits, the purest of all of them, struggled with the temptation that came from the ring. Um, and I, I think that's something we we all could relate to. But but yes, in answer to your question, if the character starts filthy and ends filthy, I don't think that's good for society because that's showing a stagnant place of living and that living is well below, uh, in my personal belief, human's highest calling is to reflect the image of God um, so are we living, are we moving closer towards that or are we just staying in the mud, uh, mm -hmm. you know, very murky?